Hello and welcome from Caravan Salon 2021. This is the 2022 range of uh, camper vans and motorhomes from La Strada. This is the Nova, which came out for the 2020 range. It was introduced at Stuttgart CMT January 2020, and it's rather flash, futuristic looking uh, motorhome. This will cost over 125,000 euros. As far as the uh, uh, novice concerned, there's two versions, one 646 with the width-wise bed, and the German layout is seven meters. Let's go up inside, inside and have a look at it, because I think it's a very, very flash motorhome. First of all, it's got my favorite type of layout for the bed up there. But the big question is, can I stand under it? So if I come down here like this to the driver's chair, you can see to the back and the camera around, there's me. Okay, in this position, I am actually now touching the uh, the bed, the roof, but uh, it's, not, it's not too bad, I think, on the whole. Indeed, I'm going to have a bit of a sit down now turn this around turned around and you can see the van uh, seats here got a widthwise bed at the back we've got this which i think the point of this was that to hold the television in but that isn't what i would use it for i'd use it as a sideboard and uh and drawers here um it's a very original layout as far as motorhomes are concerned let's come to the back more sort of st uh, storage you know i've have said in the past i think some of their stuff looks a bit like an office and this does look a bit like a filing cabinet in there but note another thing is that the walls uh come up quite a long way which is unusual in motorhomes unfortunately there is a step there personally i could have done without that and i think the carpet down here is actually he here to protect the floor the bathroom, the shower here, what a lovely uh, look it has to it. Sort of quality look. Not so certain about the walls though. Okay, sink. And uh, this use of both the sink and the shower makes sense. And uh, let's open this. I can't open it. Oh, I have opened it. Sorry, there you go. Lots of storage there actually for a bathroom. Uh, this is of course all waterproof. It looks as though it isn't, but it is for those of you who ask such things. And uh, window in the toilet. There's the ladder. The ladder is for the bed. The bed will come down uh, here. And also I might point out as well that when the bed comes down, you've still got plenty of room below to actually sleep. So that you have to pull the bed down from the other side. I won't do it though, because people might just walk in. I'm at this trade fair, and I don't want to put other people off, although now it's almost at the end. You know, electrics there, you've got your fuse boxes and what have you. That's a very unusual place to get it. I was expecting that to be empty. We'll have a look in here. So there you have your um, uh, the garage. I got one of these things here to put in my own van and it turned out to be totally impractical. It just didn't work at all. The idea seemed good at the time, but I just couldn't get it to work. So I point that one out. If any realtors think of putting these things in, to me it was a complete waste of time. Anyway, you've been, to you've been warned. Here, this is a single bed. Uh, I'd have to ask, of course. Is it really necessary to put it in? Maybe it is. Uh, it does give you that nice garage at the back as well. And getting rid of that, you'd have a six meter van. And here's some more storage, only I can't open it. Oh, I can now. Oh, it takes a bit of force. There is a wardrobe, but currently with shelves. Tambour door, that's a bit tight. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. What I will do is I'll show you at the back here. If I can get the thing open. 
I can't get the thing open. That's a can. <laughs> I really like this window as well. I, I like a nice big window. I presume you can actually sit up the back when you're driving as well. Okay, here. Two burners. That is the design for 2022 square sink. I like square sinks. I find them more useful than round ones. And uh, USB hook up. Tambour door which opens easily. More storage. Right. Okay. It is of course. Oops. Forgot about the step. N nearly fell down. It is a bit more um, expensive than most vans, of course. But uh, anyway, let's have a walk on the outside. So there's your access to the garage. Oh, the light comes on. Oh, that was nice. There's your uh, boiler. Battery. Oh, I have to say it has a very nice rear to it as well. You will see that we're one in the German layout if we can get in, because who knows we might be able to get in at all. And so I'll walk around. This thing here is going to cost 157. Euros, 57,000, sorry, 157, you say, I'll, I'll order one of them now. And, uh, okay, why is this thing up here? Let's see if I can open it. This is for where you keep the uh, the table. The table goes up here when you're driving. So, a little bit of storage like that. So you might want to get the table out of the way. The reason is that when the table's here, uh, the driver has less uh, less room, I think, really. I mean, you can put the, the drive, it would be able to drive, but, and also, if you're in car vehicles in motion, then maybe the people sitting here wouldn't want the table. Don't know, just say that, just an extra little feature there. Okay, same step that you got in the other one. This is the same. Now here we've got the German layout at the back. Now, the, when this vehicle was introduced, uh, I put a video of it in January 2020. One of the comments, or some of the comments, or quite a few comments with it, it looked very sterile inside. And I certainly did, it does have a bit of a look like a uh, an office or, or even, maybe not quite an ambulance, but it did have a, it didn't have a very homely feeling to it, maybe. To me, I think the vehicle looks really class and it's good, but you've got to accept the fact that not vehicles, first of all, are not just made for me. And other people may have other opinions. So, uh, I think this one here, and this design that we've got here, is far more welcoming, in my opinion. I mean, it's very space age. I didn't mention the outside. It's a um, monocoque single shell uh, construction. And now normally with a camper van, what happens is that the, the walls effectively are glued together. And, but with this, it, the, the construction is all one piece. And being all one piece, it's, uh, it makes it the stability, it's, it's far more stable, that's number one and it's got greater water uh, or against water ingress guarantee on it. Of course, if it gets hit by a lightning strike or something like that, or a bolt from outer space, then it might develop a leak. Right, look, the door as well looks pretty. Space age door. Nova. As I recall, in Planet of the Apes, there was a Nova. Yeah, battery, electrical stuff. 
uh, you can charge your electrical bike there. But that's not, uh, no, maybe not from there, you need a 12 volt, sorry. Take that one back, you can't charge your electrical bike from there. Um, what's that? Oh, it's a new place for this. Right, Excel is, it's in the countryside, it's uh, not so far from Frankfurt. And uh, anyway, so I wanted to show you the Nova M from La Strada here in Stuttgart. Oh, I'm not Stuttgart, Dusseldorf. Yeah, let this lady speak. Meine Damen und Herren, es ist 18 Uhr und damit schließt die Messe für heute. Wir danken für Ihren Besuch und wünschen Ihnen einen angenehmen Abend. Ladies and Gentlemen, it is 6 p.m. and visit the fair is closing for today. We would like to thank you for your visit and wish you a pleasant evening. Mesdames et Messieurs, il disfiture et avec cela la voix faire pour aujourd'hui. Nous vous remercions de votre visite et nous vous souhaitons une bonne soirée. Seigneurs et Seigneurs, il s'en essaye et elle est sur la vieille queue de Perrochi. Oui, regrettons un peu votre visite et nous augurons une piacevole serata. Dames et Herren, il est 18 heures et dame est le de Bors pour vendre. Wij danken voor uw bezoek en wensen u bovendien een mooie avond. Thanks for watching.